Hey guys, ladies, gentlemen, YouTube pipe community, Jim here, Further 73, and today I am uh, I'm shooting this video from uh, our family homestead, the uh, the old family farm. I'm back in the uh, rear rearmost woodlot on the farm. It's a uh, it's a hundred acre plot out here in uh, rural Indiana, Montgomery County. We've got uh, several fields out and around us, and I'm out here in the uh, the backwoods, which is just uh, three or four acres. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, morel hunting this afternoon as part of my recovery from uh, the Chicago Land International Pipe and Tobacco Show, which, by the way, if you've never attended, is a fantastic time. Uh, more pipes than I've ever seen in one place in all my life, including all of the catalogs and websites that I've perused. I've never seen so much uh, pipe-related stuff in one place. But uh, if you've been following my Instagram, you saw a picture of all the uh, samples that I picked up while I was there. So I thought uh, while I do my recap, I would just do the, uh, the uh, first taste of one of the samples I picked up. This is GLP's Gaslight, and it comes as uh, a couple of one-ounce plugs in the tin, and the, uh, the guys from GLP's cut this little slab off for me off of the, uh, the plug they had there at the show. So I've got you set up on the hood of my old beater, here on the hood of my 96 Jeep Cherokee. So I'm going to break up some of this plug right here while I, while I spend some time with you all. Um, I had a fantastic time in Chicago. It was the uh, best time I've had in a, in a very, very long time. And like I said in one of my previous little quick updates, you know, I uh, smoked too much, drank too much, and spent too much, but uh, there's only one thing that we didn't have enough of, and that was time. I think everybody that was there would agree that uh, we could have gone on a couple more days and and still had just as much fun. I know there were uh, there were some moist eyes and some goosebumps among some of us as we were leaving the show, heading for airports and road trips and and various other means to get home. Cannot wait to see all of you guys again this fall down in Nashville at the Southern Fried Pipe Club's pipe show. I plan on being there and I plan on uh, having some new improved Jay Schilling's pipes available. I uh, I have to give a big shout out and a wholehearted thank you to Mr. Walt Canoy for graciously taking the time to look at the pipes that I brought, tear them apart, critique them look at them inside and out tell me what I had done correctly and what I was what I was doing well with and uh, what I wasn't doing so well with and gave me some uh, gave me some tips to to do that better and the ultimate highlight of my weekend just one moment stemming from that experience the uh, the last day of the show as we were all coming through the smoking tent saying our goodbyes and wrapping things up for the day after the slow smoke competition uh, Walt was sitting there with uh, with a friend of his having a smoke waiting on uh, waiting on his ride to the airport to catch a flight back home and I went over to thank Walt one more time for for taking the time to critique my work and uh, you know kind of coach me along a little bit and uh, Walt handed me a pipe and said uh, take a look at this it's a handmade stem it's a good value for the dollar and it's made right and I I told him that I had seen that pipe on uh, on a table earlier in the weekend and had considered purchasing it and he handed me the pipe which is this pipe right here and said here take it learn from it look at it it's made right Take it with you it's yours so walt i don't know if you'll see this video or not but i can't thank you enough i'm uh, 
I'm completely blown away by your generosity to a total stranger and uh, your willingness to, to help me along the way. I, uh, I truly appreciate it. It's a great smoking little pipe. It's, it's got a unique shape. And that was, uh, get my hand back here so you got a little better contrast. That was one of the things that Walt was, uh, was pointing out to me was my shaping, especially for the billiard like this, getting proportions right, and angles right. So, uh, Walt, I have studied this since you, give, since you uh, gifted me with it. Uh, I've smoked it a number of times already. It smokes very well. Uh, it's a unique pipe. It's, it's definitely something for me to, uh, to look at and learn from, and I, I, I sincerely appreciate your assistance over the weekend. Moving on from that, take a quick break back to our sample. I've got uh, my gas light broken up here and it is in this little Icarus pipe that I picked up. There's the pipe sock. Picked this up from the guys at uh, Briar Works. Uh, got a great deal on it at the show. It's a nice little pocket pipe. It smokes very well. Get the contrast again. What was really cool about these guys is, you know, they're a factory made pipe but they uh, they look very much like the artisan pipes that are very popular right now. And, what was really cool about them is uh, I found this particular bowl, this pipe, the stummel here, and I really liked it, but I wasn't real crazy about the stem work. Well, they let me pick my own stem off another pipe. So they kind of let you, they'll let you mix and match there at the show, which I thought was, I thought that was a pretty unique experience. So back to Gaslight. I, uh, if you follow my Instagram, like I said, you probably saw the picture of all the samples I got. And I'll be doing a, a quick impression, not really a review, just a quick impression on all of those as I go through them in the coming weeks. Gaslight's a Latakia blend. And as you can see, it's a crumble cake or a plug. Uh, more of a crumble cake than a plug, I think. I noticed as I broke it up that I ended up with these little, yeah, the wind took that away probably can't see it but I ended up with these little flecks of tobacco more so than uh, like a cut ribbon so I think it's more of a crumble cake than a than a than a flat leaf plug that's been sliced so enough of that I'll light her up here and see what we think too much wind one moment All right, I'm back. I got my charring light done here. Sorry about the uh, confusion with all that. But, uh, the tin note, I guess you would call it, the initial smell of this stuff out of the bag here is uh, kind of smoky and a little sweet. Maybe a little uh, plum-like. Got a nice flavor to it. Mildly smoky, kind of savory. Not bad. I'll let you know what I think as the video progresses and the bowl burns down a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, I think I'll enjoy the tins of gaslight that I've got in my cellar I haven't tried yet. Anyway, moving on, uh, the, show was, the show was phenomenal. I got to meet people from all over the world. Mr. Michitomi was there. I got to hang out with Mitch a little bit. I met Glenn from Australia, Mr. Pipe Nutter himself. Didn't get to spend a lot of time with Glenn, but uh, we got to chat just briefly on the last day. Of course, uh, I know you saw my pictures with the Dagners. I hung out with Jay Jason on the lane. And uh, Alex Bird all weekend took Alex to the airport yesterday and got him on his way up to Boston really enjoyed my time with Alex great guy always uh, 
it's always fun to sit down and have a smoke with Alex. I met uh, I met him down at Nashville last year for the first time, and I think we kind of hit it off there. We spent uh, we spent a good portion of uh, a couple afternoons just uh, sitting around smoking and chewing the fat, talking pipes and tobacco and life and everything else, which uh, something the uh, the pipe community is really good for. It's a great way to relax and reflect. I'd also like to give a, a big shout out to One Man Smoke. Uh, gotta confess, I've only seen a couple of your videos, Salam, but I uh, was more aware of you through the Dagners and their videos than anything, and I gotta say that uh, being able to, to meet you and get to know you a little bit was, uh, was one of the highlights of my weekend as well. Uh, you, uh, you really seem to uh, live up to your name. You you seem to be one of the most centered, at peace people that I've uh, I've really met, and uh, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors with your new pipelines. Uh, you know, on the struggles that you're facing right now. Uh, you know, I I'm more of a humanist than a religious person. Might even say that I lean more towards atheism than anything. But uh, I know you're uh, I know you're into your faith and. Uh, it's truly dear to your heart and I don't I wouldn't take that away from anyone I won't disparage that at all and uh, all I can say is I I know you'll be successful with what you're working on you've got some beautiful product out there and uh, as my friends from uh, Bahrain would say inshallah you know you'll do well inshallah so uh, yeah, I just I wanted to I wanted to take the time to say thanks. I really enjoyed the cigar that we shared together. It's a good conversation, getting to know each other a little bit. It was uh, it was a good time. And there's so many other people that I ran into that you know I really hate to mention names because I don't want to leave anybody out. But there were there were so many people. You know, people approached me that had watched my videos that I'd never really met before, and uh, everybody was great. You know, I had one gentleman came up and. Uh, asked if he could buy me a beer and we sat and we had a nice cold had a nice cold beer and shared a bowl of tobacco some good conversation you know I got into the smoking competition on Sunday which was it was an absolute blast I uh, I had to laugh at myself and I had really all the other guys at the table that were first timers because we were we were all nervous everybody had a case of the shakes you know worried about getting the pipe packed and getting the pipe lit and not wanting to be the first guy out and all of that but uh, yeah it was a that was a really fun time i'll be doing that again as uh, the opportunity presents itself i made it uh, i think 34 minutes 27 seconds and at the very tail end of my smoke i could tell the pipe was trying to go out and i couldn't relight of course and i noticed that uh, Every odd puff or so, it felt a little bit hotter, and it had the, the faint twinge of briar smoke, which is a really acrid smell. So at that point, I knew I was pretty much out, and I I didn't want to do like Jason did with his first competition and ruin the pipe, because it was actually kind of a nice pipe. So I went ahead and threw in the towel. I dumped the bowl, and there were uh, maybe two little strings of tobacco that were charred but not completely burnt to ash, and that was it. I mean, I literally smoked everything in that bowl from top to bottom so that's yeah, something I'll practice and play with but I think I've probably rambled on long enough and as you can see by the uh, the woods behind me here it's prime mushroom season for all you people in the Midwest that know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna go uh, beat through the grass and the weeds behind me and get to some of these old dead trees and See if I can't find a delectable delicacy for dinner this evening. And with that, I'm going to say, have a grateful day, YouTube. Enjoy. Oh, and by the way, Gaslight's uh, thumbs up. I'm, I'm liking it. Peace.